So uh, we're starting this week the mountain hare again. Um, lovely photo from Selma Weaver with thanks. And uh, we're going to start with the background this time. So we're going to start from just level with the back end of the hair. And then we're going to go round and over the top and come back to here. And we're going to try and get it with no hard edges because there's unfocused section at the back, but there's a more focused section at the front. And we also want to try and create no dry edges. So I've drawn him out and I'm going to start with water. Not too thick, just round his sort of back end and coming down a little bit into the grass here. And then I'm going to start with um, burnt sienna and I'm going to start just above that water and bring it to it and then run down the back of his back. Now I could have worked with a smaller brush for this, could have worked a little bit darker. This is just a first coat so we will be strengthening this up and this colour comes up roughly to the back of his neck. So we're starting in water, we're going to have an unfocused bottom edge which is what we want. And then we're going to change on to a mix of uh, ultramarine and lizard and crimson, slightly heavier on the blue. Alizarin does tend to be very, very strong. So try not to be too pink. And I'm just going to go neatly around there and take it up. It's quite uh, purple at this stage, but we will be working over it later. And we're working around the top of the ear. And again, just being very gentle if you don't change brushes. If I find that I'm getting excesses left, again, dab on your tissue. Just run the brush into it. Dab on the tissue very gently. Run the brush. Oh, that's a little bit too strong there. A little bit too much, so I'll leave alone. If in doubt, leave alone. And uh, we're coming over the top. And over the top and round. So that way, again, we're keeping this working edge as short as possible. I have a slightly paler mix of this. And I'm going to put some of that in. Well, that's a little bit over wet. I'm going to bring this round. So again, this is the edge that I'm interested in. And just for the twiddly bit between the ears, I'm going to try uh, with a smaller brush. Um, Again, at a slightly odd angle because of where I've placed the camera. So that may not be the neatest job because I can't rest my hand. There we go. Let me just try that again. Again, if I've gone over the edge, which I have, just squeeze the brush out. And you can neaten off that edge. There we go. Just neatening is here. Again, this edge coming down, a little bit of dark, a little bit of light. It's this sort of directional feel to this one. Again, a bit like the squirrel that we did last week. Just got a slightly white gap there. And then coming down and round. So again, if we do any directional lines, they'll be in that direction. All this that's behind will be drying. And again, I've got a very, very fat brush for this and I'm at a very odd angle. So being as neat as possible around his face. And then catching across. So the paint has been nice and wet. Oh, we should have gone into burnt sienna. So burnt sienna here and take that down with you. If I don't take that, I've done that very wet. If I don't take it down with me, I will get water marks going upwards. But it doesn't matter. It gives me a pool of paint that I can be working with. So bring it down. And when we get roughly level, 
with where we started. I'm going to rinse my brush out. I've got two lots of water. I'm going to put water below that. A good inch and a half, two inches of water and then bring the two until it's a tiny gap between them and then touch the two together. So you just run the brush sideways through it. That way you're introducing water to paint. The paint has a certain amount of oomph and it will start to kick across that water but because you've put a lot of water here it won't be able to get to this bottom edge because what we don't want is it forming an edge. If you feel like it's going to go into its white leg just lift that out and again any excess at the side dab on your brush so you've got a damp brush dab on your brush and just use the tip to lift and I wouldn't go back any further than there for lifting because all this is drying. Small watermarks forming here. Don't worry about it. Small watermarks at the edge. Don't worry about it. And don't go back and fiddle. Okay.